I'm gonna do a short video on how to delete your clutch switch on your bike without running a jumper and leaving it in neutral map. Now I have already made a video on this a couple years ago. It was when this motor, when the bike had a 600 in it, where you run a jumper wire across, and I ended up not doing it on the 750 because I found out that what it happens is, is it leaves it into neutral map the whole time, and it robs a lot of power. What it does is take your uh, ignition back and it pulls a lot of power from the bike so i never ran a jumper after that okay so this is the properly proper way on how to do it don't run toggle toggle switch either because that that still it doesn't work it'll leave it in the neutral map this is the proper way on how to run the clutch switch without having a with doing it right with letting it go into the neutral map and then as soon as it starts it'll go straight to a regular map on the bike okay so what you're going to do is you're going to come back here to your starter solenoid and you're going to cut back the sheath on it and your wire should be the same color but you're going to have four wires coming out of it you're going to have two reds you have a black and yellow and then you have a yellow and green okay so the black and yellow one is actually a ground and that is for your clutch switch up on your lever. As you can see, it's black and yellow. It's the exact same one. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is come in here, and you're gonna, this, you have to tap into this wire too, your yellow and green. This is for the ignition switch. It's right here for when you push the button, it gives it, gives it power. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to cut a section out. You're not, don't cut the wire in half. What you're going to do is you're going to cut it so that there's bare copper showing. You're going to wrap the wire around it with the copper showing. You're going to wrap the wire around it. And then the best thing to do is to solder it. You're going to solder both of these. So basically you're teeing off. You can use a scotch lock on it, but I mean, like I said in my last video, I don't like scotch locks because they fail real easy they lose connection or if you don't have a good enough connection it's just i don't like scotch locks but if you that's what you prefer then use scotch locks but like i said cut out a section of just the, the sheath of the protective coating expose the copper and then um wrap the wire around it and what you're going to do is you're going to run it back here and i'm going to show you how to do this okay i what i did was i did my yellow and black or my black and yellow wire I put a yellow wire on it that way I knew that was for my clutch lever and then my green wire is for my uh, actual uh, ignition so and then you're gonna have two ground wires okay now now stay with me on this so you have a pin 86 pin 87 pin 85 and pin 30 all right so your pin 85 is going to be the green wire which i mean that's that's what i picked is going to be green wire but that actually goes to the the double check it yes it goes to the power source from the ignition so this one this green wire pin 85 your wire that goes to pin 85 is your yellow and green wire off your ignition switch up here yellow and green wire pin 85 on the relay okay pin 87 is going to be the black and yellow wire from here okay pin 85 pin 86 and pin 30 are both grounds to the battery it don't matter how you run them but they have to be ground straight to the battery not to the frame to the battery all right what that's this is going to do is you're going to run off of a negative current on this you're going to have one positive wire which is your um green your pin 85 is the positive wire so when you push the ignition button it sends this the voltage back here triggers the relay so it triggers this into thinking that the clutch switch is pulled 
As soon as you release it, it puts it into regular map. As soon as you release the clutch button up here, it'll put it back into the regular map. So, every time you push the button now, it'll automatically start like this. It's running in regular map. I can tell it's running in regular map because on how it idles. Because every time I pull the clutch lever in, it would change the idle on it. So, remember, green wire, which is your positive wire, is the only positive wire that's going to be ran, is the ignition wire right here. Yellow and green wire, pin 85. Black and yellow, yeah, black and yellow, pin 87. The other two pins that are left over, which is pin 86 and pin 30, are both grounds to the battery. If you have two pin 87s, one just stay, stays blank. Um, all, you, all this is is a 12 volt relay. You can buy four pin relays. This is the only one that I could find, and it was relatively free. So that's why I ran the five pin. Um, you can get them out of anything pretty much this is an air conditioner relay um you can buy them at the store anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars just ask your um automotive store or if you got a radio shack or something for a 12 volt relay all right so the reason why i did this isn't so that i didn't have to pull the clutch in to start the bike the reason why I did this is because my map kept changing and I just finally figured out what the fuck was going on. As of right now, if I plug that in and I disconnected this back here, if I pull my clutch lever back like this, all the way like a regular bike, say Suzuki would, and you pull the clutch lever back like that and hit the start button, it wouldn't start. Wouldn't start, wouldn't start, wouldn't start. Oh yeah, it might try to. Probably about right there is when it would start. It would finally actually start the bike. Anything like this wouldn't start. Anything back too far wouldn't start. It had to be in a sweet spot. That was starting. That was getting weird to me. It kept gradually getting worse, especially when I adjusted the clutch. It kept getting worse. I knew it was the clutch switch at that. I mean, something was wrong with the clutch switch. But this is the why I, reason why I did it. It wasn't because of that. It was because when I'm in the staging line. I preload my clutch so it means I pull it back all the way I put it in gear I pull it up forwards like this and that way when it starts grabbing I feel it start pulling I put put my feet down like this and I hold the bike back I put it up to eight and a half thousand rpms and then I let the clutch out just a little bit more that way I really hold that bike back I preload the clutch well as soon as I let that clutch out just a little bit more all of a sudden, my RPMs would shoot way the fuck up. I could not figure out what the hell was going on. What's happening is my map kept changing because that clutch lever switch wasn't fully activated like it should have been. So what it was doing, it was going from one map to another. And then, so I'd pull it back because I it shot way up and I'm trying to get my damn throttle set. So I'd either leave at too high of RPMs or I'd leave at too low RPMs this has been an issue all year i thought i had a grasp on it and then i changed my had to change my clutch because i had a bolt come loose so i had to readjust my clutch and then i had a major issue over the weekend on it so now i don't have to fucking worry about that happening anymore so and also when i'm at past the 60 foot i'm still on the clutch that way it's not you know lighting a tire up or anything which I had happen, but so that is the reason why I did this. So hopefully I helped you out. Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. It's just a matter of two wires you you tee off into, two ground wires, and then the relay. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up on Dark Knight Facebook page. I can uh, give you a diagram or something and try to help you out. I also have a write up on it that I found on the internet. So uh, thanks for watching.